Hey guys, how's it going? It is Gina at Impressive Glow Spray Tan and Spray Tan Training, where my ultimate mission is always to help women, moms, single moms, learn how to become a spray tan technician, start a little side hustle, and gain a little bit of financial independence in the process. So I wanted to give you guys some advice in terms of branding branding your business, things that I've learned along the way, um, things that come up with my spray tan students all the time that I see what they're doing, um, things that I really wish I would have known before, um, and all that good stuff. And letting you guys know it's not as hard as you may think it is. So if you guys are interested in learning how to brand your spray tan business. All right, so branding your business is kind of like, um, I mean, it's the fun part right? When you first initially think of starting any business, I think you get really excited about what you want it to look like, what you want your logo to be, what you want your name to be, all these fun things. Um, and then you learn really quick that maybe that's not really what you wanted. So slow down, <laughs> think of some things that you really want uh, and kind of make sure it all kind, kind of comes together. So of course, you have to pick a name. You have to pick a name for your business. Now what I will tell you and suggest is when picking your spray tan business name, I know that it is very hard to stay away from the spray tan words like glow, impressive glow, um, bronze, um, all these kind of like words that you, when you think of, you think of spray tanning. What I wish I would have done at the beginning is I wish I would have picked a name that was a little bit more um, translucent, I guess you could call it, or I don't know how to say it, but that I that it would go with kind of everything. Um, just meaning that it wasn't stuck as like a word that would go with spray tanning or a, a name that would just be associated with spray tanning. Because as you get going in your business, there may be other things that you wanna do that guide you in a different direction and your name may not go together with that and you may have to come up with a whole new branding branding option for this new venture that you want and I wish I would have stayed with something a little bit more um, um, generic I guess not so specific to spray tanning I so that it could be used in different ways um, so definitely think of that before you start to pick a name don't pick a name very quickly take some time to think about it think of a style and think of like your branding colors that you really want um, <laughs> you want to keep it as consistent as possible um, and my advice is don't do like cheetah print <laughs> um, I shouldn't say that pick cheetah print print if you want I guess what I'm saying is the more aesthetically pleasing your branding is because remember, you're gonna be using this branding everywhere from your business cards, if you're gonna get them, to flyers, to your website, to um, your Instagram page, your Facebook page, and you wanna make sure it looks good on all aspects of um, where your branding's gonna be. Um, definitely make sure you stick with a couple, just couple, don't go crazy with colors. Stick with a couple baseline kind of color scheme that you want. Uh, make sure it's aesthetically pleasing to look at, that it's something that it kind of catches your eye um, and looks nice. And uh, I think that Pinterest boards are amazing for this. I did, uh, when I first did my first set of branding, um, because I've had to redo it, uh, my first set of branding, I went with like a, a color combination, because sometimes you, this color and this color that you really, really like just don't go together. And so what I like about Pinterest boards is it really does give you like designer ideas of what colors really are cohesive together. So definitely check out Pinterest. I think it's a great place to get ideas for um, color schemes for branding and stuff like that. Uh, now your logo. A lot of times people think that branding a business is super expensive. Like you have to get all the things. You don't have to get all the things. Remember so much of what we do in terms of marketing come for free um, or extremely cheap. Instagram is free. You just have to put a logo on your on your page and talk about it and like that's it. <laughs> but logos are awesome and remember it's gonna follow you everywhere again so make sure that whatever you choose is something that will kind of go with you as you grow unless you're gonna do a whole rebranding which kind of is a little tough 
um, once you have put your put your name out there but it's all trial and error so uh, but from the jump my suggestion is to kind of pick a logo that kind of can go anywhere with you as your business grows Etsy and Fiverr are the most amazing tools that a business owner can have I mean from branding to logos to Instagram um, highlight covers to um, video editing to everything and it's extremely affordable I mean you can get a whole branding package with your logo and everything that you need for like a business cards and stuff for like 50 bucks it is the greatest thing so I definitely suggest you check out Etsy you check out Fiverr I will link all that information in my bio so you guys can um, uh, see it and um, kind of look around at people's different um, uh, jobs that they offer out there but they are two of the biggest places that you're gonna get so much of your stuff from so moving on Canva is life <laughs> if you don't know what Canva is and you are starting any kind of business you need to figure out Canva very quickly. It is so, so awesome. You can create so many things from Canva in terms of branding and pictures and editing pictures, business cards, you can create brochures, you can create newsletter, anything that you need in terms of creation of uh, tools for your business, you can do on Canva. And what I love about Canva is you can actually put together what they call a branding kit uh, once you sign up for a, an account and you can put the co your colors that you, that you want, um, that you're going to stick with. It's very important to get, um, it's called hex, the uh, H-E-X color, like the number of the exact color, because you may say that your color is royal blue and when you're explaining that to somebody in terms of doing a marketing tool for you and you say royal blue, th those could be two completely different colors. So having exact um, color codes for your business is extremely important. And so when Canva, you can put those codes in of, you know, these are the three or four colors that I use consistently every time and those are your colors. You can uh, lock in uh, your um, the fonts that you use for uh, for everything. You like to keep that consistent as much as possible. Everything has to be kind of cohesive and go together from your post on Instagram to your post on YouTube to your post on Facebook, wherever you're doing things, you want consistency in your branding across the board. So you can lock in uh, those um, fonts, you can lock in the colors, you can lock in your logos, you can lock in watermarks, you can, um, put in anything that pertains to that part of your business and the marketing part of your business, all of that can be loaded into uh, Canva. And it's a great tool, it is extremely affordable. Um, there are gonna be things you have to invest a little bit of money into and having subscriptions um, to things like MailChimp and Canva and um, these kinds of tools that you just use on a consistent basis, they are extremely affordable, but they have to be used. You have to use them right and you have to take the time. Canva didn't come easy to me. It was kind of hard at the beginning, but you have to take the time and invest the time into learning the tools that you have available to you. So I hope that helps you guys uh, think of how to brand your business, keep it consistent, uh, kind of come out of the gate already winning with a couple tools, knowing that um, you want it to just look great. You want people to be impressed. I did a lot of my branding at the beginning, almost kind of like a DIY project. <laughs> And I thought it looked good and a lot of people thought it looked good. It just, once I realized the tools that were at my disposal and I put that into my branding and I thought, man, this looks so much better. And again, it's a learning process. Um, a lot of people don't have any money when they first start, so they do have to kind of DIY it for a little while. And that's okay, but you'll learn things along the way as you go. And I hope these things kind of help you uh, before you have to either waste money or waste time uh, doing those things. So. Like I said, if you guys are interested in learning more about becoming a spray tan technician, I do online, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, hands-on training in Southern California to learn how to become a spray tan technician. Uh, do the follow, do the subscribing thing, all the likes, follow me on all the social media stuff. I'll link everything down below. I hope you guys have a great day.